Hey there. So what's up with episode 10.5? I'm glad you asked. Truth is, I felt a bit guilty dropping a one-minute channel update in episode 10 and not even covering a mod for you, my greatly appreciated early subscribers. So after asking myself what kind of channel am I running here, I decided to do another quick episode and cover off a mod that's too small for a normal episode anyway. Stock Clamshell Fairings is a mod that cleans up another pet peeve of mine in that it changes the confetti-like deployment of stock fairings into fixed arcs of separation. This mod doesn't overhaul the system like procedural fairings, rather it tweaks the fairing system and retains the stock advantages such as transparency in the VAB. So let's fire up Seacan and do a quick install. Alright, so let's start by doing a quick search for clamshell. And there you can see stock clamshell fairings. Let's check relationships. I don't expect anything here, but we'll have a look. It doesn't conflict with anything. So let's go ahead and apply that and install. Beautiful. And we're good to go. And let's try it out in game. Okay, let's go into the VAB and have a look at the new fairing settings. I'm going to load up a ship I put together earlier to show you the difference with the clamshell fairings. Now as you can see, I've built a little probe ship here with layers of fairings, kind of like those Russian nesting dolls. So let me just pull them apart for a second and get to the one uh, top layered fairing. When you right click the base of the fairing, you'll see the one change that this mod adds. It added this toggle here for confetti or clamshell. Now this can be set both in the VAB and in flight, so you don't have to worry if you forgot to do it while you were building your ship. Now as you guys know, the stock fairing mechanic works in that it splits apart by all of the pieces that you see in the exploded view, so both vertically and horizontally all of those parts will be different pieces of fairing. Hence the name confetti fairing because there's little pieces of fairings flying around everywhere. Now the clamshell setting on the other hand, it still shows the same in the exploded view, but when you deploy your fairing, it only splits along the vertical axis. So in this case of the 1.25 meter fairing, you're gonna only have two pieces of fairing. So let's put this back together. And I should be able to show you this out on the launch pad, the difference. So let's launch. Okay, so if we look at this first fairing, it's set to confetti initially. Let's deploy it. And you see all those pieces as we talked about both vertically and horizontally they split apart same with the next one all kinds of pieces and then finally the top fairing some more pieces flying around over there so you can see that's quite a lot of debris quite a mess and let's uh, let's relaunch this same uh, vehicle and I'll show you the difference all right so if we change that to clamshell and again deploy you see the nice vertical slices that fall away now with the 2.5 meter section same thing three pieces so you can see the 3.75 is in six arcs the 2.5 meter was in three vertical arcs and the 1.25 is in two pieces so there you see it go there so just a lot cleaner uh, I know it seems like a silly uh, aesthetic thing but I have uh, I have experienced when little pieces of fairings actually got caught up in other parts of my ship before and again it didn't I was lucky it didn't cause any problems but I have heard people on the forums uh, have issues with little pieces of fairings getting stuck in their ship so I like the uh, I like the clamshell fairings for both the aesthetic perspective 
and to make sure that none of that debris hangs around so it's just a lot cleaner all right guys well that's it for this little bonus episode enjoy your cleaner clamshell fairing deployments and we'll see you in the next episode take care